He says, let not sin therefore reign. Uh -uh. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal bodies. Here's the litmus test. Brother preacher, how do I know if sin is reigning in my mortal body? He says that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. How many of you all know that self-control is one of the ambassadors of the Holy Spirit? You see, you ever seen people talking with people and they're standing like this? And they got their hand on their mouth. Because they know King Jesus better keep this fist over my mouth. Because King Jesus, if this fist coming from in front of my mouth, that child ain't never going to wish she had messed me in her life. So they trying. They're like, boy, ooh. They saying in the head things like, ooh, they're talking crazy to me. Oh, they're talking crazy to me. Mm, but I'm trying. I'm holding. I'm steadfast. You see, what's happening is the lust in my body does not have authority over my body. Listen, you can't help what you lust over. Don't look at me funny, Pembroke Park. Uh -uh. You can't help what you lust over. You know you could be walking in a mall, see the same thing I see, but it'll touch you a different way. I was walking into the courthouse. I was in Dallas walking into the courthouse. A friend of mine had a hearing, said he needed, you know, the minister to come down and speak on his behalf. Yeah, I know the brother. He's a pretty good guy. I'm walking into the courthouse. There is a, a mother and a daughter coming out of the courthouse, and the man, he's walking up beside me. So I think we're going all together. I told him good morning. He didn't say anything back to me. I didn't pay that no mind. He just kept on going. I just kept on going myself, you know, because remember, we're walking in the lights. Hey, Amen. If you can, we're walking in the light, walking in the light. So we're walking to the door, and I'm walking to the door with this gentleman and the daughter and the mother come outside of the court and he says I didn't make it she says it's too late we've done and we're walking off he grabs her by the arm I said hey man <laughs> now listen <laughs> mind you now there's two security officers behind me Smoking cigarettes. I'm curious as to why you saw what I saw. And that didn't move you to do something. You see, it's because I grew up in the house of Kirk Jones Sr. And Kirk Jones Sr. helped me figure this out way long time ago. That boy, you're the sorriest man on earth if you put your hands on a woman. Yeah, he told me, he said, listen, you are, you're the sorriest man on earth. But I'm saying, Daddy, you don't know what my sister did to me. He said, I don't care what she did to you. You develop enough sense to walk away and come tell me about it. But son, I can't let you grow up thinking it's all right to punch women. Say amen if you can. So because of where I come from, seeing that, it did something to me. Now, I wouldn't advise anybody to do what I did. Right. Lord knows he could have turned and said, what, what you want to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, then I got in this struggle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, 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 so don't miss it now. Don't miss it. The, the idea though, my brothers and my sisters, is that I can't control what sparks me. Yeah because of the way I was brought up. You know, some of you were brought up in some things that pull you greater than others. You know, some of you could be on a trip and you could say, I have to go to the restroom very bad. 
and you could say, look, we'll pull over to this liquor store, and I could go in that liquor store, and that don't mean nothing to me. I'm just here to use the bathroom. I'm here to walk out. That could do something for you. But, you know, you could be riding in the car with somebody else, and they said, no, 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 no. I, I can't stop right there. No, no, no. And you got to respect that church. Say amen if you can. That person is telling you, hey, hey, listen, listen. There's lust inside of me that I, I don't control. I just have to respect their existence and govern myself accordingly. What I'm saying is you don't control the lust that exists in your body. But you do control how you act in spite of the lust that exists in your body. And if you know that's right, you ought to say amen.